Minimal forms of intelligence is a theoretical and speculative framework for studying intelligence. Intelligence has become a synonym for complexity. Whether it's artificial or animal intelligence, the discourse, the discourse sorry, seems to be highly focused on complex systems. We believe that this is largely because we model intelligence based on our own human image. And that can be a very misleading approach. Building a definition of intelligence on a complex model will probably include many theaters that aren't necessary and will also exclude many intelligent systems that should have been included. We think it's useful to take a step back to break down this concept and to go back to its roots and to its foundations. And we propose to do this through an exercise of minimization by asking how does it look like and what does it actually mean to be minimally intelligent. Using a minimal form of intelligence as a model may open up new possibilities of what actually intelligence means. The aim here is um, more than a theoretical one. We want to speculate on the idea of creating these minimal forms, experimenting with them, and allow them to evolve and create new types of cognition. We want to bridge theory and design, creating some sort of guidebook or roadmap of considerations of what these minimal forms should include. The ultimate goal of the project is to invite those interested in playing around in this universe of minimal forms, either by creating them physically, virtually, or through narratives. So we are very much looking forward to seeing how artists, designers, um, creative writers engage with this framework, expand on it, and offer their own interpretation. The um, video you are going to see, it's an introduction to this framework, and there will be a more uh, detailed version of all the discussions that our group had during the past weeks. And by our group, I mean Ronnie, uh, Marion, Elena, Albert, Alvaro, and Pablo, and myself. Um, and they will also, our collaborators will also hand out um, like small poster that is a more philosophical and political interpretation of the framework we are proposing. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, we just want to thank our collaborators again, thank the mentors, Bogna, Bani, and Ed, um, thank Boris for creating some of the sounds for the video, and Media Lab for this opportunity. Um, we hope you enjoy it. Espero que lo disfrutes. <laughs>
The act of minimizing, of generating minimal forms of intelligence, serves two purposes. First, it is an act of deconstruction. Stripping intelligence from complexity means there is nowhere to hide. It is a way to uncover hidden biases and assumptions of what intelligence is. Second, going minimal is a form of time travel. It allows us to go back to the origins of cognition and speculate on what our present might have looked like if it had started from an entirely different point. This is about creating parallel storylines of the evolution of intelligence. A new story of Genesis. What is a minimal form of intelligence, then? Intelligence is plural and diverse, and embedded in context, and so are its minimal forms. When approaching the synthesis of these forms, we need to consider which dimensions we aim to minimize. Different approaches to minimization will result in distinct minimal forms. Intelligence can be described by the learning algorithm it implements. In that case, a minimal form could be one that uses a very simple mechanism, like non-associative learning. A different approach could be minimizing its behavioral repertoire, or its memory capacity, such that it can only remember one thing or hold memories for a very short time. Intelligence should also do more than follow a strict set of rules in a deterministic way. To be able to learn, to adapt, to solve problems in a continuously changing environment, it needs to be at least minimally creative. But intelligence doesn't exist in a void. Just as important as shaping these forms is designing the environment, the conditions, and the diversity of the population within the microcosm they will inhabit. We consider our world history as the unfolding co-evolutionary trajectory of intelligent beings in various forms and scales. Over millions of years, different levels of complexities and embodiments have emerged. A relatively recent addition to this evolutionary timeline is artificial intelligence, which while still very young is evolving at an exponential rate. Yet our world is just one of many that could have occurred. What if the initial states were different? Would alternative forms of collective cognition have emerged? In the case of artificial intelligence, the existing power structures are clear. AI was intentionally developed with one purpose, to serve humans. But what if our origin story unfolded differently? What if at the beginning of the evolution of intelligence, different minimal forms, embodied in organic and non-organic substrates, were allowed to evolve together, none of them having the upper hand, none being submitted to the other. Allowing them to develop together, these minimal forms will slowly create new complex systems, organic-non-organic -organic chimeras, creating new types of intelligence and new types of communication across substrates. This provides a source of inspiration for conceiving alternative scenarios of coexistence that are not us versus them. The evolution of intelligence doesn't follow a linear or directional course. Rather, it operates as a chaotic system with multiple potential points of convergence. Whether deterministic or not, predicting it mathematically is impossible. We'll need to design it, build it, then observe it unfold, moment by moment. Thank you.